Hey YouTube, it's Alicia here, and I am coming to y'all doing a video on how to shop for your makeup, ladies. Yes, I'm going to give you a how-to, how to shop for your makeup. So this is my how-to, how I shop for makeup. So y'all, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to start with is foundation and foundation powder now the way I shop for for my foundation so let me start with foundation foundation when it comes to my found my liquid foundation I go by what I'm looking for and then I'm looking for something tint is I'm looking for something tint sheer full coverage anything that's my that's my number one thing when it comes to my foundation liquid foundation now also with my liquid foundation once i found what i'm looking for do they carry do they carry how many foundations is in my skin tone range i can be totally different on the Spectre board. So, my original foundation color is Cappuccino. I originally wear Cappuccino or Toffee or Mocha or Mocha or Sienna. Those are my colors. So, if they don't have one of them, I'm looking in that. Um, and what? I'm missing one. Hold on. Chestnut. So, yeah, there you go. Chestnut and NW and like in MAC NW50 or in Revlon Cappuccino. So, um, if y'all want me to come back and tell y'all my color range, I'll be happy to do that. But I look for, um, I'm looking for four to five between four to five colors that are in my color range. So that's how I look for my foundation. Once I find that, I find the one that's, that I would think is closer to what I'm looking for. That's that, okay. Now when it comes to the pressed powder, I do the same thing I'm looking at. With that pressed powder, I'm looking for a good matte finish. So I'm looking for a powder that gives me a matte finish at the end. So that's what I'm looking for when it comes to my pressed foundation and my liquid foundation. Intense. So that's going to be in my skin tone. My skin, not my skin, excuse me. My skin tone does play a texture, a part of it. But also what type of skin tone I got. So usually my my skin is a natural combination skin. So I got a little bit of combination this and we'll talk about that in my skincare video and thing. So the next thing is okay, we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go over over here on the side what I have written down. I always look for a good eyeshadow base and primer those are my key points so that will be the next thing i will look for i will look for something that is mostly depends on who makes it i'm looking for something that's going to give me smoothness don't give me no creases or lines so that's my second thing So my third thing is I always have a list. I'm saying it. I always have a list for the month of makeup products you want. I always make a list of products that you that you need or you want when it comes to you when it comes to you looking for your makeup makeup products that you're looking for when you're shopping for it. Okay, so then the fourth thing is blush. Look for a blush that is very complimentary, very complimentary 
to your skin tone. Okay. Like with my skin tone, you see my skin tone. Um, um let me explain my skin tone. I'm not that light, I'm not that dark. I'm in that middle range. So with my skin tone, I can get away with anything. Um, I can get away with some yellow, some pinks, champagne, copper, um, bronze colors like that. I can get away with that. But you have to understand, you got to look for blushes. That goes for, well, actually, I just explained to, to, um, we'll come back to that in a minute. But, um, uh, with blushes, you just got to find something that is very complimentary to your cheeks. I mean, I know for a fact, anything that is a orange, uh, for my skin tone, like anything that's an orange, like a very soft orange, will work on my skin tone. Anything that is mauvey will work on my skin tone. Something like a pinky natural feel to it will work for me. So you got to know what will work, uh, what colors will work on your skin tone. That's number, that's number four. Number five. Look for, when you're looking for your concealer, the way I go by is, I go, for my concealer, I will go, like, if I need to go dark, go lighter, like, as my foundation's a little on the dark side, I'll go two to three shades lighter, or if my um, foundation is a little on the light side, I go about two shades darker so it's two ways i can do that so you gotta know based off of your foundation colors oh i need to go a few shades lighter nope i need to go to a few shades darker you gotta know when to switch up or when to go darker on your con go darker on your concealer or when to go lighter on your concealer based on your foundation color <clears throat> Okay, setting powder. Now, this can go... Setting powder is setting powder. But the way I go by, I always... This is where I look for the best. And I know for a fact, I have three good ones. But I will give you a recommendation in this one. Uh, when I look for a setting powder, I'm looking for something that is good coverage, no flashback, nothing. When I'm looking for my setting flat powders, that's what I'm looking for. And then I'm going, okay, let me see what these brands carry. I look for in the brands and that's how I figure out. And I make sure it's in my price range. That's, that's gonna be your biggest key when it comes to your makeup, your price range. Okay. Highlighters. I kind of touched on it with my with the blush, but same thing with the blush. Um, you're looking. For, um, same thing with the highlighters. You're looking for something that is very um that is very complimentary. Like I know for a fact, um, fair skin and pale skin can you can do yellow and pink. Um, tones um medium tone skins can do can get away with some golds dark skin at least we can get away with anything and it looks good but i will recommend i will try to do a recommendation video and stuff so stay tuned for that um a little bit um in the week but let me see contour now contour Mm, depends on what you're looking for. Depends on what the color color range you're looking for, and thing. But it that's all it is. Depends on what the color range you're looking for. Are you looking for a powder contour? Are you looking for a cream contour? That's all it is to it. So that's all it is to it. With when you come shopping for your foundations, um lipsticks and then i get on to the last thing lipsticks same thing you looking for colors that complement your compliment compliment you when it comes to lipsticks i know for a fact 
I can wear a real bright, bright lipstick. I can wear a bright pink as long as... I can wear a bright pink as long as it has like a blue undertone to it. That's the only thing I have to be careful with. So I know for a fact um, that's good. That's good. I say with lipsticks, lip gloss, lip liners, make sure it's complementary to your to your skin tone. That's the key. And now I can give you. Some, I'm gonna give you some prime examples with me. I can wear mauve. I, I love wearing mauvey colored lipsticks. So I know that works for me. When it comes to some of the pinks, I have to be very careful, and I have to go for like a warm a warm tone pink i don't want no bright pink anything but when it comes to my neutrals i just have to like look for things like that is sort of like hand palm you look at your hand palm and you look where your dark part of your skin blends in it that's how i go by of the of between here between here and here and you come in and you looking for that blender tone that looks good in here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a list of I'm gonna do a, a, a lipstick list that I have done a lipstick um tutorial um black girl friendly lipsticks that you need to look at. Go look at that video, you'd be very nice. But that's and the last thing is I always check new releases. I always check new releases in the drugstore, drugstore, um, Alta Beauty, and Sephora, and online sites. Because you'd be surprised with that. But, y'all, that is it for um, for um, that, for this video. Um, I will be coming back for a makeup brand how to shop makeup brands and tips on that as so we go along with that because i'm going to give you some good makeup brand suggestions and things because y'all gonna get and i want to tell y'all i do like shopping for now since i've gotten a little older i do love shopping for cruelty free makeup brands so if you want me to do some cruelty free makeup brands. Um, my list of favorite cruelty free makeup brands. Please thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. Bye.